that uh, as we think historically about those intersections between public health efforts and interventions, and then public higher education, right? Uh, how have the two been intertwined in your uh, professional opinion to mobilize and to improve the lives of minorities and, and black communities per se? Yeah, so let me give you a concrete example that came out of, of the uh, COVID uh, pandemic crisis. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. early on, it was, became obvious that um, the the disease was was disproportionately impacting African American communities. You might yes, remember sir. that the death rates were much higher, and African Americans getting it at a much greater rate, and so forth. Yes, um, I, you know, we recognized this as well as well as others, but we took immediate action to try to do something about it. And, and I put up these mobile testing centers. Yes. One of the issues was that uh, African Americans, these testing centers these um, uh, that was available were not necessarily in, in black communities. True. They were in, in places where you needed a car to get to yes. and testing was really important. Absolutely. So we recognized this and uh, our group from the university was able to get some mobile vans and uh, outfit them for testing and actually go to the communities yes. that were most impacted. And that really helped in terms of um, mm -hmm. getting African-Americans uh, tested uh, quickly. Yes. And as a result, this became one of the statewide strategies that, were, that was adopted. Yes. I think that's a good example of how public health uh, interfaces with a, a university uh, and we were able to do that because of the faculty that we have who are so committed yes, sir. to trying to improve the, the uh, health of the community. And then the, the other uh, example I'll give is that, you know, in, in the past, um, uh, a public health degree, a bachelor's degree was really unheard of. But yes. starting around 10 years ago, mm -hmm. there started to be, uh, you know, some public universities that started offering public health degrees and a bachelor's degrees. Yes, sir. Uh, we were one of them. And so right. we now have a bachelor's degree in public health. And it, it's one of the, the most popular degrees now. Mm -hmm. and, and it's one where a lot of minorities like to go into because that's an, a way of trying to impact the health of communities is through the public health training that they get uh, in their uh, undergraduate years. Absolutely, Doug. Well, that is a, a great, both are stellar examples, the uh, action, the action that the university was able to take to mobilize those uh, testing sites uh, in urban communities in Detroit uh, is outstanding work. The Bachelor of Public Health program, yes, where uh, students are able to get their minds around the topics of sociology, uh, economics in view of uh, health disparities, public policy. So some of the things that are oftentimes barbershop debates, right, or, or beauty salon or even pulpit conversations to be able to really put the social science around the discipline and then to prepare students to be able to engage in work, uh, whether it's for-profit or not-for-profit or civic is great stuff.